The thing that makes a roller coaster so fun is its height. The taller the roller coaster, the greater the swoop and drop. The greater the swoop and drop, the greater the thrill. Because of course, the taller the roller coaster, the scarier the fall. Here's where math makes the difference. Would you believe that knowing shapes can actually make a ride really scary but still perfectly safe? Have you noticed how many of the best roller coasters rely on loops to up the thrill factor? All the twists and turns, lunges and plunges. They seem haphazard, but they're actually perfectly planned with math and a little something called centrifugal force. You know the feeling you get when you're in a car as it turns the corner really, really fast? You find yourself thrown outward, right? That's centrifugal force. It happens when things move in a curve or a circle. Shapes! Centrifugal force pushes the object away from the center when the object moves in this shape at high speed. Roller coasters use this centrifugal force to keep you pinned safely to your seats as they navigate the loops. Well, centrifugal force and seat belts and safety bars. If the loop is perfectly circular, it will be good for centrifugal force because the speed of the roller coaster as it goes down, along with the centrifugal force, would pin the people safely to their seats. But because of the great speed that gathers at the roller coaster drops to the bottom, it will be bad for gravitational force. At that speed, the gravitational force or G-force at the bottom of a perfect circle will be so great, people would actually pass out when they hit the bottom of the loop. It might seem fun to some, but it would definitely not be safe. So, if circles don't make good roller coaster loops, what shape would? Introducing the upside down teardrop or the clothoid. A regular circle has the same radius all around. A clothoid has radii that change at different points. At the top, the radius is smaller. At the bottom, it is bigger. A smaller radius means a sharper turn. A bigger radius means a gentler turn and so a smoother ride. With a clothoid, the greatest curve is at the top of the loop. So the turn is sharper. But it's okay because getting to the top, the roller coaster is actually at its slowest. So even though the curve is sharper, the g-force is less. The bottom of the loop is less circular with a longer radius, so the turn is gentler and there is less centrifugal force. Remember, centrifugal force works when things move quickly in a circle. Less centrifugal force, less G-force. No passing out but still great fun thanks to shapes. Have you seen Charlotte? I've been around this entire park two times and still no sign of her. Maybe she went ahead without me. She is a thrill seeker after all. But not much of a friend if she went without me. Anyway, shapes can make a difference between a safe ride and a scary one. But math can add to your roller coaster fun in more ways. See what I did there? Math, add, hmm? Roller coasters are made up of more than just one car. They have several cars strung together. So, which car do you pick to get the most exciting ride? The front or the back? Or maybe the middle? The front. I like the front. The front. You can get the special effects on it. Oh, the front one. Front. Middle. I think all everything should be same. The front because uh, usually it's where you feel the most wind. That's that you you go down the most. Uh, in the middle. See the front. I think it's the front. It feels like you're going faster than you back and on. Okay. No more arguments, no more debates, let math settle this. The truth is that the entire train moves at the same speed. If it doesn't, the back car will crash into the front ones and derail the entire train. But remember, it's harder to get to the top, so at the top of the loop, the cars are actually moving more slowly. But when the first car clears the top loop, it begins to drop, picking up speed as it goes along. By the time the last car reaches the top loop, the first car is already speeding down. This pulls the last car along as well at a faster speed. So, if you're in the last car, you're not going faster than the first car, you're just clearing the loops faster so it feels like 
the overall ride is faster. Math tells us then that if you want a more thrilling ride, pick the last car in the roller coaster.